my favorite. It's an American classic. We've been eating this since the 1700s. It's known as the fish that fed the founders of the United States. It's a dish that comes in and out of fashion in the restaurant menus, but I will say that it is always in fashion in this kitchen. As for the ingredients, the star of the show is the shad roe. We probably have about 50,000 eggs in this membrane. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about shad roe in a minute. Other than the shad, we have bacon. The bacon's gonna be a garnish to the dish and the fat that it renders will be used to actually cook the shad. Dijon mustard and lemons, and that's all there is to it. Okay, step one is I'm going to drop four slices of bacon into the cast iron skillet. Smell the bacon. Shad spawns in May and June in the northeast of the U.S., so we catch them in the Connecticut River up my way. The flavor to shad roe is a very subtle, savory, briny that takes on introduce flavors very, very well, which is one of the reasons why it's so popular to cook with bacon or to cook in bacon fat as we're doing tonight. And you can see there's basically two, one membrane attaching two sacks. And so the first thing you wanna do is separate them. Step one is we're gonna separate these two. The sack, you can see right here, this is already severed. So we're gonna have eggs splattered all over the place. <laughs> Okay, our bacon has been frying for about four or five minutes on a medium low heat. Uh, make sure we brown this evenly on both sides. Okay, so we take our bacon out. We're gonna put this in a 200 degree oven to keep it warm but not overcook it. Okay, I can see I don't have quite enough bacon fat, so I'm gonna add a little butter. Butter and bacon fat. It's like uh, health food central here. We're gonna cook for about three minutes on each side. Okay, after about three minutes, whoa! Oh my god, the tackle. Very gently flip it over. Enjoy the pain. Mmm, smells so good. You want to be very careful not to overcook this, otherwise it's going to get very gritty and grainy. It will not have a great texture. You want it to be firm on the outside, outer eggs pink, and the inner ones red. We're going to put these bad boys to come out. About two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And about a quarter cup of water. Shad Road American Classic. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, now is an excellent time to subscribe. Bon appetit, good luck in the kitchen. watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this.